I thought I would talk about something that came to me tonight. It's a great proverb. And in my husband's life, in my life, especially in his life, he's been in the ministry a really long time. And he's always said that in a moment of time, anything can change in anybody's life, which is pretty much what happened to me. And throughout the course of his ministry, he found favor in different situations, one after the next, one time after the next. So I wanna talk about divine favor um, because really there's two kinds of favor. There's God's unmerited favor and that he sent his son to die for our sins and that all of us can be forgiven you know when, when we're godly godly sorrow works great life in those that get it and that's really God's unmerited favor but I want to read about a different kind of favor now so uh, there's a proverb that says good understanding gives favor but the way of transgressors is hard. Good understanding can be kind of like a mother. The, the voice of wisdom in the Proverbs is kind of referred to as a woman. So when you think of iniquity is conceived, it says that in the Psalm 2, I think it's Psalm 7, iniquity is conceived and it gives birth. So, you know, Understanding can be like a mother, and so can transgression. When you think about the devil and Satan, you know, he is sin, he is transgression. Knowing to do what we shouldn't do is obeying the wrong, the voice of the wrong father, right? It doesn't bring uh, a lot of good favor into our life either. So the way of transgressors is hard. Good understanding brings favor right so you think about stories in the bible like esther ruth abigail sarah you know rahab they all found favor it goes on and on and on and on and you know there's a lot of women in the bible also who lost favor you know from uh, the woman that Sarah talked into having a baby. I can't think of her name right off the top of my head, but you know, Vashti, Jezebel. There's a lot of women who got disfavored very fast in a moment of time. And you know, there's, there's merited favor all through the Bible. I think even in the scripture that says the righteous acts of the saints in Revelations are like the threads of their clothes. Who are these people? Where did they come from? The people of the Great Tribulation, washed by the blood of the Lamb, and their clothes are the righteous acts of the saint, that merited favor because of hearing God's voice and doing it. So um, the Lord lifts up the humble, and he lifts he lifts up the lowly. They find favor, just like in the people that take on the Beatitudes of Christ. Blessed are the poor. Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are the merciful. All of those scriptures, all throughout the Beatitudes, is God's divine favor. Even when we forgive from our heart and we decide not to be unforgiving, right? We find God's unmerited favor because we're not given over to the tormentors. It's kind of the sowing and reaping all through the Bible. So there's another scripture that says he sends help from the sanctuary and people for our life. So in, in Jesus's case, you can see the favor that God provided through man, through the, the guy who gave him a donkey, the guy who prepared, prepared a burial site for him because God uses people all the time. He, he sends help from the sanctuary people for our life. That's what's happened all through Jean's life and in, in a lot of different situations in our life, too. And a friend of mine had a dream about this very thing, about God's glory, God's unmerited favor. You know, the, the light of the righteous shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. And when you think of that as those that seek wisdom and find it, you know, it's kind of cool, really. So even Mary was highly favored, right? It says that Mary was highly favored. 
it even says that Jesus increased in wisdom and understanding and found favor with God. So, you know, God always uses people. And Mary was highly favored. Her womb got to be used. And the angel of God found her and she became the womb for the Son of God. She had to choose it though and give the angel permission to actually be able to fulfill our destiny, the destiny, because it doesn't happen apart from our choice. And unless, you know, like Pharaoh, the Pharaoh gave the, you know, the children of Israel favor because God put a spirit on them, right? So Jesus uh, talks about this in Matthew 22. Uh, Many are called, but few are chosen, few obey. So, the real currency of the kingdom is actually faith. Gene might even have done several little things just on that alone. That the currency of the kingdom is actually faith. Um, so sad for people who all they have is money. You know, if, if that's all you have, you're pretty lost. So, even Solomon found favor with God because he cared about doing what was right with God's children. Jeremiah 17 talks about God's favor. Isaiah 58. Isaiah 8 also talks about God's favor. Um, even, even Job in all of his suffering said, I, I used to know you in my head, now I know you in my heart. So, uh, let's see, I have a, another scripture hold up here, I gotta find it real quick. Um, and it says this, I think I'll end it with this too. This is John 15 in the Amplified Version. It says this, Jesus talking, if you keep my commandments, if you continue to obey my instructions, hear my voice, follow it, do it, <laughs> you will abide in my love and you'll live on in it just as I've obeyed my Father's commandments and live on in His love. I've told you these things that my joy and delight may be in you and that your joy and gladness may be full to the full measure and complete and overflowing. This is my commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. So that is a great scripture and it's probably great in a lot of other versions. I'm just going to read it in King James 2 real quick. If you keep my commandments, if you continue to obey my instructions, that is the Amplified all over again. Sorry about that. I thought I, I got the King James here. I thought I wanted to read it in that one too. But I'm just going to... Okay, if you keep my commandments... Mm, didn't change it again. Okay, sorry about that. Got to hit the thing now. So, when you obey me and you... Uh, that's not the right... <laughs> that's not King James either. I might just let you read that on your own since I'm having a hard time pulling it up. But, you know, we can, we can find... All those who come to me must believe that I am and that I'm a rewarder of those that do good and diligently seek me. What is that? That's divine favor. So when we do good, when we obey his voice, not just hear it, not just not walk in what we hear, but when we actually hear God's voice and obey it, we tap into God's divine favor when we're doing it in a right heart with the right spirit because we want to please him. You know, wanting to please the Lord is what really taps us in to divine favor and and you see that even in the temptations of Jesus this is what I really started reading about initially was what Jesus actually said to Satan in the desert man shall not live by bread alone the temptation was to live by bread alone and not have God's favor right and the temptation was to just take risks and do do what he sowed to the wind and once saved always saved right just just test god tempt god all the time and he'll catch you no matter what you do right you know because jesus didn't do that and he could have he found divine favor 
um, and the, the love of the world. You know, there's no favor of God when we when we love what's in the world. That's that'll be all we get is what we love in this life. You know, divine favor comes from really wanting to please God and do His will, and it's it's really pretty cool. You know, everything in my life changed when I cared about pleasing the Lord more than myself. And not that we don't have a daily battle to overcome Satan, we do. But uh, I just wanted to talk about this tonight because we can find divine favor in wisdom, you know. It, it's such a great scripture in Proverbs. It actually could change anybody's life that, that grabs hold of it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end and read that one more time. It's Proverbs 13. I think it's verse 11. I, I can't really see it here, but it says, Good understanding gives favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. Amen.